Hey friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to compare Pensite to Stand Store to help you decide which platform is the best platform for you to sell your digital products. But first, if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Tisha, and I'm here to teach you how to create and sell digital products using online tools. Now my last versus video you guys really enjoyed so I decided to bring you another one and shout out to One Faith Feel Lady for suggesting I do a pin site versus stand store for my next versus video. So just in case if you're not familiar with either of the platforms, both pin site and stand store are link in bio digital storefronts that allow you to sell your products and services without the need to build a full e-commerce website and you can share those links on your social media bio hence the name link in bio to help you make a decision on which platform to choose I'm going to introduce you to what I call the business tool scorecard and with this scorecard I'm going to assign points to different categories and features that I highlight throughout the video and at the end of the video we're going to add up all of the points to declare a winner and as I go through the highlights and features. I want you to play along and score each of the categories that you feel best resonates with you so you can determine which platform will be best for you. To get started, all you need is a sheet of paper and you want to draw a line down the middle. On one side, you want to write pen site and on the other side, you want to write stand store. So go ahead and grab your pen paper, create your scorecard and let's get started. First, let's talk about the cost associated with these different platforms. How much it costs to use the platform is usually the number one decision maker in deciding on which platform that you're going to use because you want to consider your budget. So let's start with Pensite. Pensite has three plans that you can choose from. They have a basic plan, which is their free plan. They have a pro plan that is $29 a month and their biz plan that is $99 a month. Pensite doesn't charge any transaction fees. I do believe that this is a recent change. They used to charge a 3% transaction fee. And this is actually a great thing for you because that just means more money in your pocket. Now, if you do want to test out their pro plan, they do offer a seven day free trial for you to test out their pro plan to see if you want to upgrade from the free plan. Now let's look at Stansor. With Stansor, I had to do a little bit of digging because their website does not offer the pricing schedule up front. You have to kind of dig around to look at for it. They do display that they don't charge a transaction fee. And again, a 0% transaction fee is a great thing for you as a business owner. Stansor has two plans that you can choose from. Their creator plan is $29 a month and their creator pro plan is $99 a month. Now Stan does not offer a free plan. However, they do have a 14 day free trial for you to test out their platform to see if their platform is the right plan for, for you. And after that 14 day free trial, you will need to choose from one of the paid plans. Since Pensite offers you the opportunity to get started selling your digital products for free, for the pricing category, we're going to give a point to Pensite. The next category is payouts and payouts is basically how you receive your money after you make a sale. Both parties use a third party payment processing platform to process your payments to be direct deposited into your bank account. With Pensite, they use Stripe. So this means you will need to have a Stripe account. With Stand Store, they actually offer you two options. You can choose from Stripe or PayPal. So for this category, I'm going to give the point to Stand Store because they give you that additional option of using PayPal. Now let's talk about what you can sell on each of the platforms and their different plans. Starting with Pinsight, with the free account, you can sell one-on-one -on -one sessions, digital products, online courses, video Q&A, group sessions, um, coaching bundles and external links. If you want to access memberships, uh, so if you want to do like a subscription service or group programming, you will need to upgrade to Pensite's Pro account. With Stand Store, you can sell digital products, online courses, 
calendar bookings and this can also be used for one-on-one -on -one sessions webinars and external links if you want to sell memberships or their subscription type service then you would need to upgrade to stand stores creator pro account for this category i'm going to assign a point to pin site because you're able to sell all of these different products with just their basic free plan without having to upgrade to any of the paid plans. The next category is ease of use. I found that both platforms are very user friendly and beginner friendly. You don't need a lot of uh, tech background or coding to use these platforms. Each platform, you can literally add your digital product and be ready to sell in a matter of minutes. So for this, I'm going to assign a point to each of the platforms. If you want to learn how you can set up your digital products with Pinsight or Stand Store, I will leave a step-by-step -step tutorial for each of those platforms down in the description. For the rest of this video, to ensure that we are comparing apples to apples, I'm going to refer to each of the platform's $29 a month plan. So that means we're going to compare Pinsight's $29 a month creator plan to stand stores $29 a month creator plan. So this next category is selling features. Selling features are very important because this can help you increase your sales and increase the average order of your customers. With Pinsight $29 a month plan, you have access to payment plans, coupons, and upsells. In order to access these same features with Stand Store, you will actually need to upgrade from their $29 a month plan to their $99 a month plan. So for this category, I'm going to assign the point to Pinsight. Now let's talk about emails. With both platforms, they allow you to easily build your email list. You are able to collect your customer's email with a free product or a paid product. So for this, I'm gonna actually assign a point to both platforms. Once you've collected those emails, you have the option to download those emails into a CVS file and manually upload those to your email marketing platform. Pensight does not offer you in-house automation to automatically add those emails to your email marketing platform. If you want to do that, you will need to connect to a third party to Zapier in order to create that automation. With Stand Store, it's a similar process. However, they do offer the option to integrate with MailChimp. So if MailChimp is your email marketing platform of choice, give an extra point to Stand Store. Now, both platforms also offer you the opportunity to create email marketing campaigns within their platform. With Pinsight, you can do this with the $29 a month plan. With Stand Store, you actually have to upgrade to the $99 a month plan in order to access the email marketing campaign feature. So for this category, I'm going to give the point to Pinsight. The next category is analytics. Analytics is very important in a digital product business. Your analytics help you make decisions in your business. It helps you to determine your marketing strategy and whether and where your customers are coming from, what your customers like and what they don't like. So analytics are very, very important. Pinsight analytics provide you with a total number of orders, page views, link clicks, and your revenue that you've earned. Stand Store Analytics provides you with a little bit more detail. You get traffic sources and conversion rate ratios. And so because of the more detailed analytics that you receive with Stand Store, I'm going to assign a point to Stand Store. This last category is actually a bonus category and this category is affiliate commission. Both Penn site and Stand Store offer you the opportunity to earn commission for promoting their platform. You can get a referral link and anytime you refer someone and they use your link, you can earn a commission. With Pinsight, you can earn affiliate commission with their free account. With Stand Store, you actually have to be on one of their paid plans in order to be an affiliate of their platform. So for this bonus category, I'm going to assign the point to Hensight. So now it's time for us to calculate the score and determine the winner. And if you've been following along, the winner clearly is Pensight. Now I know I'm going to get asked this in the comments. Do I recommend Pensight over Stand Store? 
And my answer is yes. This doesn't mean that Stan Store is bad. For me, it simply just comes down to a cost. You can get started selling digital products for free with Pensite. And if you want to, you can choose to upgrade to a $29 a month plan. With Stan Store, you are committing to a $29 a month subscription plan. And even to get additional features, you may have to upgrade to their $99 a month plan. And so for me, Stan Store is a no. So in my opinion, why pay if you don't have to pay? Like, make it make sense. All right. So hopefully, friends, this video has helped you decide if you want to choose Stan Store or pin site for your digital product business. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which platform you scored the highest. And as always, friends, thanks so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you in the next video. Bye.